Cultivation Analysis Theory by Mackenzie McClure. Have you ever heard someone say too much TV is bad for your brain? Uh, this presentation is going to give some perspective on that. The cultivation theory states that high regular viewing of television makes people more inclined to the media messages and the beliefs that they are real and valid. Heavy viewers are expo exposed to more violence and therefore are affected by the mean world syndrome, the belief that the world is far worse and dangerous place than it actually is. Heavy viewers are individuals who watch at least four hours of television a day. Uh, heavy viewers are consistently categorized as being more affected to the images and messages that they see on television. They also rely on television more to cultivate their perceptions on the real world. In a recent study done on the cultivation effects of reality television, an Indiana University study found that young girls who regularly watch the MTV hit Teen Mom had unrealistic views of teen, teen pregnancy. George Gerbner was the founder of the cultivation theory. Um, Gerbner's initial work specifically looked at the effects of television violence on American audiences. Uh, Gerbner's research also focused on the perceived impact of high use of television users and their interpretation of crime within the content they are watching and in relation to what's happening in their real life. He argued that since high percentage of television programs include violent crime related to content, viewers who spend a lot of their time watching television are inevitably exposed to a, the spike in crime and violence. Thus, an increase of, of, in exposure caused viewers to make judgments about the real world around them in terms of being more violent and crime-filled environment, when in reality, it may not be the case. The cultivation theory qualifies as one of the few theories that terms inquired into the effect or influence of TV program programs. The cultivation theory cultivates or creates a, a world view that although possibly inaccurate can become a reality based off the way that people view it on television. The theory further argues that heavy television viewers are more likely to perceive the television world view as the truth than light viewers. The more viewers watch tel television commercials, the more cultivation that takes place. Cult cultivation theory provides an understanding on the degree at which TV ads influence and dictate cultural patterns since it's part of the media functions to communicate norms, rules, and values. Cultivation theory is underscored by three core assumptions. The first assumption highlights the medium, the second, the audience, and the final assumption deals with the functionality of the medium on a larger audience. The weakness of the cultivation theory are varied due to the method being developed in a time television was just barely reaching a considerable portion of Americans. To start, this theory is not capable, meaning it cannot be controlled if research remains uneven with the programs going blindly along separate paths, cultivation theory and its applications to consumer behavior are destined to stay on the list, a growing list of potentially insightful areas that should be further investigated but could be missed. Also, I believe the cultivation theory should have more research into social media. Mass and social media have different effects on people's perceptions. I think it's clear in today's world by our actions online that there is a lot of influence on how social media impacts our decision and views. My final conclusion, when looking further into the studies of George Gerbner's and associates on the cultivation theory, I can see the theory can be applied to mass media today. I wonder if the experiments conducted today would be as accurate as the ones done over 35 years ago. Because of the various levels of vulgar, vulgar television and the developments of agencies seen to protect the ideologies of this theory, I think that it is applicable in today's media climate. There are much more defined groups that are developed, much more accurate ideas from social mass media today. George Gerner was 
onto something, but it, it's going to take some time and many years of research to really put that theory into a reality. And it's hard to say if people who watch a lot of television are more influenced by television or the ways in which the world is framed by television programs. Light viewers may have more causes of information than heavy viewers. Uh, the Renaissance describes that the intensified effect of the audience, and I think that television exposure strengthens the position that acts of violence are a natural response to the situation of conflicts. I would like to end this presentation with a quote. The more television you watch, the more you see people who seem richer than you. Research shows that you will then overestimate the income of real people and underestimate the value of your own. So the more television you watch, the more dissatisfied with yourself you become. You'll also spend more money. By one estimate, you'll spend an extra $4 per week for every hour of television you watch. Of course, television is about drama, which means violence, infidelity, and immoral behavior. And you end up overestimating the frequency of these things in your real life. You may conclude that the world is less than it actually is and decide that you better stay home and watch more television. This was by Richard O'Connor. I hope you enjoyed my presentation today on the cultivation analysis. Thank you so much for your time.